Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Letty. I'm a 35 year old crazy makeup person from England. Um, I love all things makeup. Um, so if you enjoy makeup as well, then please do hit that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss any of my future posts. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing my highlight collection or my highlighters collection, shall I say. So yeah, there's not really much intro for that one. So <laughs> without any further ado, let's just go straight into it. So I'm gonna start with my liquid ones, just cause I don't have many and they're right at the front. So, so if you're wondering um, what I've got in my eyes, I've got a video coming up on this one next. So again, so you don't miss out on that, then do subscribe. So I've got, um, start with the cheap ones. So I've got three of the Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters. I have them in liquid luminous gold, uh, liquid rose gold, and liquid bronze gold. I never use these, I don't know why, um, but I just figure I've got them to be honest, so <laughs> I should really start using them more. But yeah, so they're in my collection. I mean, this one's still sealed. Yeah. It's not because I don't like them, I just literally forget them. Like this one is the bronze one. And it is nice, it's pretty. Um, it's very pretty actually. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that because it's a liquid. Let the colour just focus. But yeah, they are nice. I just um, never reach for them for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I just don't. The other one I've got, which I did use to death actually to start with, um, is the Kiko. This is the Kiko um, Sparkling Holiday Liquid Highlighter. I think this was a special edition for Christmas a couple of years ago. I got it as a Christmas present for my friend. Um, and it is a really, really lovely, lovely highlighter. It's like very golden, very beautiful. Um, so I do like this. The next two I have, I've got the Iconic um, Illuminators. Um, this one is in uh, Original. Is that even an, uh... I don't know. So this one's kind of like, yeah, so this is the original. This is called Shine. I think that's what they're called. Um, so one is like a pinky toned highlighter, one is like a golden bronzy highlighter. Much prefer the bronzy tones um, rather than the pink tones. But again, these are very, very lovely and, and beautiful. I just, again, forget I've got them. So liquid highlighters, I don't really use them. Um, me and Elsa plan to do an all liquid um, makeup. <laughs> so I will get them, get to use these then. You can also like the liquid highlight highlighters pop them into like a matte foundation to make it a bit like dewier and fresh, so that might be an idea. Uh, then I've got this really random thing. This is um, from Body Shop, it's called the Sparkle. It's an all over shimmer. And it literally, if you spray it, it literally, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me try and see if you can focus on it. Let's try and see. Are you gonna focus? Can you see all the sparkles on my hand? I mean, I've got liquid highlighter on one of them. But it just literally, should I put it all over my face? It's not sticking because I think my, my it's not, but I have, it's gone everywhere. But yeah, so I got this, I mean it's beautiful, but I think it's like an all over shimmer, like if you're going out, spray a little bit of spray, and then, um, yeah, I've got glitter all over my face now. Um, spray a little bit of spray, it's very beautiful. Again, I don't use it very often, it's more like a Christmas party kind of situation, but I do, um, it's very pretty, and I love, love the packaging, it's so, so cute. That's that one. And then... So some of these are like in palettes, like little palettes, um, which I have. So I'm gonna go through them first, I think, and then I'll go with the others. So I've got um, the Revolution um, Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit Ultra Fair. This highlight is really, really beautiful. That one there, I do love this kit quite a lot. So this is really, really pretty. And then I have a very similar one from Sleek. And you'll see it's very, very similar. Um, See, it's very, very similar. So this one's a bit more golden than this one. This was a bit more fair, but I quite like both of them. They're really, really nice. Um, I then have this Body Shop, again, contour kit, and it comes with a really, really subtle highlighter. It's this one here. And it kind of gives you like a um, glow from within sort of thingy. I do really like this one as well. I love this actual look quad. It's really, really nice. But yeah, this highlighter is really, really pretty. Like that as well. I'd love to sit here and swatch all of them, but I just don't have the time. <laughs> I also then have this contour and glow kit from Revolution. Um, again, this highlighter is beautiful. This one here. And I know this is meant to be like a bronzy kind of shade, but if you've got deep skin, this would look really gorgeous as a highlight. I can get away with a little bit of it when I'm really, really tanned. 
um, but it's a really lovely, lovely highlight. That's that one. Um, I then have this two sleek palette. There's the highlighting palette in Solstice. Solstice. Oh, it's just like it's shattered, so I have to be careful how I show you this. Um, but this is like was talked about for years and years, and I finally got a couple of years ago. It's nice. It's okay. It's pretty. It's very pinky toned. Like top shades are very very pinky toned. Um, so I wasn't as impressed as everyone else was for some reason. I don't know if maybe I got it really late in the game. So I think maybe at the time when this came out, it was really really good. But then since then, new things have come out. I've only had it for like a couple of years. But I know this was like an OG for like or a holy grail for the OG YouTubers that came out a few years back. But it is nice, it's just again something I don't reach for. This is basically the same thing, but this isn't copper plate. This is like for deeper skin tones. So again, I can use some of the shades when I'm really, really tanned. Um, and if you're deep skin, this is, um, if you've got deeper skin, then this would be beautiful. But I can get away with these two shades um, when I'm really, really tanned. And I could even use that probably as a bit of blush, like a bit of a highlight blush. Um, but these, these are beautiful actually, they're really, really nice, I like that one. Yeah, I actually prefer this one to that, to the original. But yeah, that's quite nice. I then have um, more palettes, so let's go for the palettes first. So I have this MAC palette. This was the MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Medium Deep. Um, this highlighter is very golden. It's very bright, like very, very golden. For deeper skins, this is beautiful. Um, I can get away with using it for me when I'm tanned, so, but that gold shade is stunning. And I love, love the packaging, like, so, like, pretty and fancy. Love, love that. Uh, this is the Lion King highlighting palette, highlighter palette from Primark. Now, this is really hard to get into. I don't want to ruin my nails. Okay, so this is beautiful. So yeah, apart from this one, the browner shade, I those other three shades are be beautiful. So we've got deeper skin, that one would look nice. I can use that as like a little top over the top shimmer for like my bronzer and stuff if I want to. But it is like beautiful. I can probably actually get away with it when I'm really, really tanned because it's not actually that dark. But it's a beautiful palette and this was only a fiver. I don't know if they still do it in Primark because obviously they change all their makeup quite often. But this was a gorgeous palette. And obviously it's Disney, it's the Lion King. I love Disney, so it's all good. And then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. Um, so I got this in TK Maxx. Um, and I have used it quite a lot. I love using it when I'm doing like colourful looks so I can match my highlight with my eyes. I haven't done that today actually. I should have done a bit of green and a bit of blue. But I do love it. This one is really beautiful. That one's like my favourite. But they are all very, very lovely. Um, I love this palette, so... Really, and I felt really bougie when I bought it because one of the first like ABH products I ever bought and I was like oh I've got ABH stuff so I was very excited <laughs> but um, really good palette as well I really like it um, and then I've got the Revolution Makeup Revolution highlighting palette this is in it hasn't got a shade on it this I got in one of those like free mystery bags I think it's okay it's nothing to write home about to be honest it's the, you can see it's barely been used I think I've used it like once these two shades aren't really for me this one's very golden but it's very very white based so although it's pretty it's not exactly amazing it actually looks really nice on my skin at the moment but um yeah so it was nice but it wasn't anything to write home about so I wasn't like overly you know obsessed with it or anything which is probably why it's not really been used um and then this is one of my favorites so I'll leave it to the end then I've got the Urban Decay, this is the Afterglow palette, highlighter and blush. So this is, um, Darren got me this a couple of years ago for my birthday, I think. Oh, so these are the, like, these are, this is the kind of the highlighting. The other ones are really blushes, but it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I have used it quite a bit. Um, I have forgotten I've got it recently, so, but it is a gorgeous palette and I do love it. So yeah, so I love doing these videos because I remember things that I've forgotten about or I find things that I've forgotten about that I put in my drawers. Um, individual highlighters. So uh, I've got a couple. So one of my all-time favourite highlighters 
ended up like this which was very very depressing can you see it's all broken I can't seem to throw it away it's the Ofra um, collaboration with Nikki Tutorials Everglow it comes with three different colours I must repurchase it this was a beautiful highlighter um, I just used to swirl three and just kind of it was just it's the only Ofra highlighter I've got and it's just it is beaming it's proper like in your face I'm here and I want to show off that I'm here. <laughs> Beautiful highlighter. And I can't, don't know why I still have this because it's completely broken. I, I, I love it though. It's so, so beautiful. Um, go to the more affordable ones now. So I've got Revolution Beauty. This is the Skin Kiss Golden Kiss um, highlighter. This is very golden. It's very beautiful. I really like this. I have used it quite a lot. It's a massive pan. I don't think I'm ever, ever going to hit pan on it. But it's a beautiful beautiful highlight it is like one of my go-to highlighters that i'll wear quite often um so i do really like this one i do also then have the mua undress your skin shimmer highlight this is in radiant cashmere and this is a beautiful beautiful highlight it's like a rose goldy almost kind of tone like really really bronzy it's just stunning it's so so beautiful i think this cost me like two or three quid so so worth the three pair quid it's just it's absolutely beautiful it's stunning i love it could not recommend it enough um then i have my two um wet and wild highlighters so i have um blossom glow and precious petals so i prefer precious petals to blossom what's it called blossom glow um just because this one's a bit bronzier and goldy and this one's a bit pinkier i do use the pink when i'm doing like a pink look or i want something a bit more um a like cooler toned um but my go-to is the golden the precious petals the kind of golden more golden eliminator can't speak more of the golden kind of shimmery shades for the price point these highlighters are amazing again they're about i want to say like a fiver or something um, for them, um, you can get them on Beauty Bay now and I believe you can get Wet, Wet and Wild in Boots now as well in the UK. So they are getting easier to get hold of. Um, so, but these are really, really good highlighters. I really, really like them. And that's the two I've got from Wet and Wild. I didn't think I had that many. Sticking to the affordable stuff, I have a couple of highlighters that, again, I don't really ever use. This is the MUA Luxe Glow Beam liquid highlight cushion god that's a mouthful isn't it so that one there and that is literally like a cushion it's like one of those you've got the little puff thing you then open it and then it's a cushion i've used this once i got this in again one of those mystery boxes that you get when you spend like over 30 pound with revolution um i never use it oh did i get it i might have even got it on a glossy box or something i don't know i got it for free i didn't buy it it's, I think I was, it was okay, it was really pretty and stuff, but again, I just never reached for cream highlighters, I don't know why. But this was okay. Okay, so, next we have, oh, the Strobe and Glow Highlighting Kit, MUA Lux again. So this is a bit weird, this is a Strobe and Glow Highlighting. So you open it, there's this, like, powder, and it's just so, so chalky. I don't understand it, like, at all, it's really, really bizarre, it's really chalky, and then you lift it, and there's, like, a sheeny creamy situation going on down here i don't know if you can see the color but it's very very pink again this is very very pink very very light for my skin tone um very very white based which i don't really like um but again i keep it in my collection i don't know why i do this i should really just declutter some of this stuff i'm a bit of a makeup hoarder i have a really hard time decluttering and getting rid of makeup um anyone else like that i really really struggle with it I'm always like, oh, I might need it. And I do this with everything, not just makeup. But since I've got into makeup, my makeup collection has grown and grown and grown and growing. Um, I have my own beauty room and it's full of makeup now. Um, so I do need to start to be a bit me a bit better and start decluttering. Um, another Revolution product, which is the Jelly Highlighter. This is, this is actually really lovely. It's, oh, <gasps> look at it. It's really, really weird. But it is beautiful. It's really, really pretty. It's very, very strange. But if you like dip your finger in, if I can do it. And then where can I do it? Because my hands are full. I'll do it in here. And you just tap it and kind of blend it in. It is like the most beautiful, like glow from within sort of highlight. I really, really like this. Again, I don't use it very often 
because I just I prefer powder is a lot easier I find but this is a really really nice highlighter I've got this um, again I got this from a glossy box a couple of years ago this is a so Susan statement skin um, highlighting crayon it's um, gold tone I used to use this a lot for my highlighting my eyebrow for my brow bone um, and it's just like a gold highlighting crayon um, this is really pretty again it's very very pretty I just forget it's there um, which is kind of the um, theme of the day today <laughs> um, another one that I don't use I got it again in a glossy box or a birch box or something like that it's the Model K, I'm going to check this box away, it's so tiny, it's very very cute, it's so so small and it's a baked highlighter and it's kind of again pinky tones and stuff so it's not really my cup of tea um, but it is pretty, it's just very very pinky toned um, so yeah very pinky toned so I'd have to use it for like a pinky toned look and stuff but it is really pretty and I do, it's, it is really pretty actually so yeah that's why I keep that one um, then I got another one, this was the Steve Laurent um, Rose Gold Loose Powder, this is beautiful. This is like, it is like a loose powder, or is a loose powder, it's not like a loose powder. It is really, really beautiful, I'm just going to try and swatch it down here for you. I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it, but it's there. But it's, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful rose gold colour. It is, um, yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Um, and I really like it. Very, very nice. Really good good quality as well. Again, I got it in a glossy box, but it's really, really pretty. Um, I also got the Model Co. Highlighting Trio. Now, this is like this. And this comes with three shades. So, like a whiter shade, a pinkish shade, and a bronzy shade. So, you can use that as like a blush if you wanted to as well. A creamy blush. And a bit bronzy. So this is champagne, peach bellini, and bronze. I really, it's quite nice. Again, again, I forget I've got it, but the bronze is really, really pretty. It is quite dark, to be fair, but it is a pretty shade. So yeah, that's okay. I mean, I haven't used it a lot, to be fair, so I can't really remember what I thought of it. But it is pretty. My hand is like covered in shimmer. Um, and then I have the Lorazzi um, Dew Pot Illuminator. This is like again a cream. This is really, really pretty. I have used this a couple of times. It's like a rose goldy kind of highlight, it, but it is um, like on the peachier side. So it's that one there, you can't really see it. But it's like on the peachier side, um, it is really, really pretty. You could actually use this like as a little bit of a top up for, like a, for um, a blush, it would look really nice. So I've got the MAC, um, this is a cream base, a cream colour base in Hush. This is a, a cream highlighter. It's beautiful, I've used this in my recent cream, full face of creams, um, full face of, of cream makeup um, and it's a beautiful beautiful shade again I don't use it very often just because I prefer the easiness of using a powder but this is a beautiful beautiful highlight, um, love it and then I have, this is really old, it's nearly empty to be fair I used to love love this when I first got into makeup, it's one of the first things I bought and this is the Benefit High Beam Highlighter. The, they've got a sunbeam or something and that's beautiful. It's like a golden shade. They tried it on me once because I used to get my eyebrows um, waxed by the... I've got glitter all over my hair. I used to get my eyebrows waxed at a Benefit and they tried it on me once and it's beautiful. This is again a bit more pinky shade. Um, I much prefer these when I'm lighter and when I'm doing like a pinky look like I said. But it's a really pretty highlight as well. And then um, I bought this recently, it's a recommendation of Missa. Um, this is from um, Amazon. It was meant to be like a uh, dupe for the Emrezi, ABH Emrezi uh, palette, um, highlighter, sorry. Um, it's very, the one I've got is very, I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. I have run out of space to swatch, uh, do a bit here. I mean, it's like there. Um, I mean it is like stunning um, but I think it had like a top layer on it so I'm going to try and use it again but yeah I do um, it is very pretty I just need to try it again I wasn't like overly impressed but I do think there was maybe a top layer that I had to get rid of or something uh, but swatching it it is like stunning it's really really golden she actually has the lighter one I think I have number two um, so it's the Ojo Brilliant Shimmering 
stereoscopic height disc <laughs> zero two so i'll link everything down below if i can but um this is from amazon yeah so this was okay i'm gonna try it again i wasn't like overwhelmed by it or blown away by it shall i say but it is a nice highlighter um but i will try it again and then my and then i also got um this is my only color pop highlighter i've got it's the disney villains hades everyone's got a weak neck super shock high um highlighter this is a beautiful highlighter. It's a bit of a weird texture. It's like like a creamy, powdery kind of goodness. My hands are covered in, in um, I can't swatch anymore. Maybe with this one. But it's a beautiful highlight. It's just stunning. It's like goldy, rose goldy kind of reflex. And it, it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. Such a nice highlight. I haven't used it in absolutely ages. Um, it's really weird to use. You have to kind of use it with like your fingers and stuff because of the texture that it is, but it's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Love, love this one. Now we're on to my favourite, so right at the end. Right, my favourite drugstore um, highlighter has to be this one here. This is the Revolution Sofa X Highlighting Palette. Oh, look at that. Now to be fair, I can probably use all of these shades here. Again, I don't like these sort of tones, but they are good to have if you ever want to do like this or like a purple look or a pinky look. But these, especially these two, they are like my favourite. They are so, 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 so beautiful. The quality of these is unbelievable. This palette cost me £8. I actually think it was £7.95. Um, it's always on sale, always on offer. If you don't have it, grab it. It's an amazing, amazing palette. I tried to buy it for my giveaway because I wanted to give this as well as the extra spice palette and I could not get hold of it, it's really hard to get hold of but I highly 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 recommend, if all that, of these, all these products this is probably the one I recommend the most because it's really really affordable, it's amazing quality, it's an absolute gem to have in your collection love 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 um, from a higher end I have the Jaclyn Hill um, The Flash palette, now this is very bougie I mean look at the packaging, it is stunning whether you like Jaclyn Hill or not, you can't deny that she knows her highlight look at how beautiful this is it is just so so pretty oh look at that i can use all four of those highlighters this is the flash poly um, um palette this is like the lighter one there's there is a deeper one as well but this is absolutely stunning gorgeous i'm wearing it today i've got this shade down here which is called sparks so i've got that one here like on my all over my face really um but really 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 love this palette i've had it for like a couple of months love it it's very quickly become one of my favorites i either use this one or this one to be honest and then the other thing i do use get a higher end is the jaclyn hill um bomb loose highlighter palette oh my god it's just it looks really dark in here um let me try and see if i can swatch it this is the jaclyn hill it's just, it's just so beautiful. Don't know if you'll be able to give it justice, but it's there. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Let me just put a little bit on. <gasps> Can you just see how that, that's some very nice glow from within. Bam. In your face. Oh, it's just beautiful. Okay, let's just match it up. Sorry, just <laughs> let's just show you how good this is. This is probably my current favourite highlighter that I have um, in my collection out of all of them. Um, again, these are expensive, but I got this when it was on offer. I think I paid, I want to say £14. I think it's normally like 20 something, 24 maybe. I'll link all that down below again, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. If you want to splurge, if you want to wait until it's an offer, it's definitely, definitely worth the money. I highly, highly recommend it. Look at that. It's just stunning. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. And yeah, the only thing I was going to show you is my highlighting brushes. I have four. I have... Actually, I have five. Where's my other one? So I bought this one from Beauty Bay, and it's just a bit big. Like, it's massive. I don't really... I can't really highlight with this. So I kind of use it just to blend it out a bit. But um, yeah, it's a apparently a highlighting brush. I probably will, this is a glow up brush from, um, I probably will use this as like a bit of a blush brush. 
But my highlighting brushes are these two, so I have these four. So I've got Real Techniques um, Fan Brush, which I really love to use. I love, depending on which highlighter I'm doing, I can use this one or this one, or these two. This is a fan brush from Primark. This was only like two quid. And again, it's very differently shaped from this one. It's a bit thicker. It's a bit, um, so it kind of spreads it out a bit more. This one's a bit more intense because it's a bit thinner. And it's like a dual fiber. So it's kind of got shorter hairs and longer hairs. So it kind of, I find it distributes the product a bit more intensely. Then this one's a bit fluffier. So it kind of spreads it out a bit more. Um, and then this one is a um, Essence highlighter brush. I actually bought this in Spain. Um, but they must have it in the in, in essence online it's just a beautiful beautiful brush really really like it i find it really really easy to use um it's a bit similar to this one this one's just a bit bigger this one is the jacqueline hill um x morphe um jh09 highlighter brush um i really really like this brush as well although it's a bit fluffier um than the other one i find that it distributes it really really well here and you can kind of just highlight anywhere with it and it just does it, does it for you so I really like that as well so I highly recommend all of these four brushes they're really really good for highlighting um, and yeah that's pretty much my highlighting collection so I didn't think I had that much um, clearly I was a little bit wrong wasn't I <laughs> I was like oh my highlighting collection is only going to take me like five minutes to um to do because I don't really have that many so yeah I was a bit wrong anyway it is so late right now it is quarter to one in the morning I'm so crazy um but I really wanted to film today so I kind of wanted to do a couple of videos to get a couple of videos ready for you guys for this week so yeah I really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a huge big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next one thank you bye bye Mwah.